Hey, what's up, everybody? Isaac Okason here with Civil Engineering Academy. I wanted to jump on real quick and do kind of a little book review. Um, recently, the new edition of the Civil Engineering Reference Manual has just come out. They changed the title. It's now called the PE, PE Civil Reference Manual. Okay, we changed the cover. It's the 16th edition. But today I wanted to do a, a little bit of a review of this book and also talk about some of the changes from the previous versions um, and other changes that, that have hit this as well. So uh, hopefully this gives you a good idea of what this book is all about, especially when you're considering um, looking at other versions of the Civil Engineering Reference Manual. Obviously, right off the bat, you can tell the title changed, right? We might have to come up with a new acronym on this this baby PE civil reference manual is different than the civil engineering reference manual so they still call it the CIRM but really the title changed on that one so um, today we're gonna do a in-depth look of this and hopefully give you a better idea of what this book is all about The PE Civil Reference Manual is the most comprehensive textbook for the NCEES PE Civil Exam. This book's time-tested organization and clear explanations start with the basics to help you get up to speed with common civil engineering concepts. Together, the 90 chapters provide an in-depth review of all topics, codes, and standards listed in the NCEES Civil Exam specifications. The extensive index contains thousands of entries with multiple entries included for each topic so you can easily find the codes and concepts you will need during the exam. So this book features over a hundred appendices containing a lot of support material. There's over 500 clarifying examples found within the book. There's over 550 common civil engineering terms defined and there's a glossary in the back that you can use. Um, so you can easily look those up. There are thousands of equations, figures, and tables. Uh, there's industry standard terminology and nomenclature that are added to the book. And it has equal support of both the US customary units as well as SI units. So um, the specs for NCES mention that they can test on both and this does cover both uh, in case you're worried about that. Um, after you pass your civil exam, this book can become uh, and continue to serve as an excellent resource for you. I myself keep it on the shelf at work. You can just pull this bad boy out whenever you need to look up an equation, go to it, boom, it's all here for you, right? So all your college textbooks are crammed into this massive book. So some of the topics that are covered here, you've got the civil breadth portion of the spec covered. You have your construction material, geotech material, structural, transportation, water resources, and environmental. And just a little bit about the author itself after this. But you can see that each section here is actually tabbed already for you. So you can actually quickly go through it and say, oh, here's transportation, boom. Oh, here's, here's a structural, boom, okay? You're obviously gonna wanna tab this up yourself for specific equations. You also can use the glossary in the back and the index um, to help you find specific topics. So if you're diving through the book, the actual um, topics do not change between the 15th and 16th edition. You still have the same amount of, same amount of chapters as well as the same topics that are covered within each each chapter but what you will notice is um, the biggest change within this edition is the updated use the updated codes so and you know they've updated the ACI to 2014 and, and a lot of the construction design standards they've updated the geotech design standards uh, uh, the structural design standards as well to 2016 codes and whatever code was updated and so as well as transportation so the biggest change here is the update to codes that's the biggest change chapters uh, and other material I'm sure there's some other little tweaks within there they always like to uh, have a rata that that gets updated within the books as well so that's all in there as well so those are those are the changes that I see right off the bat 
All right, now a little bit about the author, Michael R. Lindbergh, PE, is one of the best known authors in engineering textbooks and references. His books and courses have influenced millions of engineers around the world. He's been going at this since 1975, and he has authored actually more than 40 engineering reference and exam prep books and has spent thousands of hours teaching engineering to students and practicing engineers. He holds a Bachelor's in si of Science and a Master's of Science in Industrial Engineering from Stanford University. Anyway, guys, that's my review of the uh, PE Civil Reference Manual. I, I'm going to have to get used to that name change. I don't know why they changed the name. I uh, Maybe they're going to come up with a new acronym on this guy. I don't know, but... This is the Bible. It's the go-to resource for all of your uh, exams, your PE exam especially, and you're, you're going to enjoy this. So make sure you grab a copy of this as you start to study. Um, if you're going to look for an older edition, you risk um, maybe not having the latest edition of the codes, which could creep up on the exam. So it's always a good idea to have the latest edition, but um, we're going to, you know, you know the differences now, so go ahead and make the choice that you need to. Anyway, I uh, hope that helped you out in your decision making. Uh, again, I think it's the best book out there for you, and um, you should get it. So we'll see you next time. Bye.